We'll be done in a moment. And then, a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Yah. No. They demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. I'm looking for Ceres. Any idea where she might be? I hope she's gone to the village. It's been a time since she visited. She wished to speak to our folk, but... But? I worry she might have gone to Jarl Udalric's old family home, though I tried to dissuade her. Clan Brockvar have something to hide from the Oncrate? No, it's not that. The house is a strange place. Many believe it haunted. Great. I love haunted houses. But why would Ceres go there? Before she left, she had a long talk with the Jarl. Seems she wanted to help him. With what? Forgive me. I must go to him. A promising start. <laughs> Remember when that storm caught us in Old Bay? I like it where yesterday. Damn. Something serious in here. Fresh footprints. Could be Ceres's. Until I help Ulrich. The sword. Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back. You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to. You have to tell me what's going on. Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Ulrich. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have if I'd only found the sword. So, what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar, the ancestral sword of Udalric's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udalric. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udalric and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udalric. But his father gave Brockvar to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udalric to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udalric to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Most likely their father thought some hard work at sea together would fix things between them. We use sea outings as cures for many things. Sadly, this time it didn't work. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udalric had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. What do you think? Did Udalric kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day... Well, it's affecting Udalric right now. Powerfully so. And it could have something to do with that sword. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? 
Long as I remember, folk have said Udelric's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. Don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. I think not. It's not the gods. It's Aki. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge because Udelric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we've to give Brokvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udelric alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udelric both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udelric? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together. about so did you find the sword I found it let's go after you then you and my dad you were mates once right hope we still are but well I heard you fell out over something or someone talking about that story with Yennefer long time ago that in fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. But you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease. The calm and the quiet. Where is Yennefer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing, not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Hardly bright out here. It stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige. And the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering, the pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. These voices you hear. The gods. Their voices. It's not the gods. Watch your words, Farner. You're in Skalliger, our land, and we revere the gods here. If you weren't on Craig's guest. Jarl, the Witcher surely meant no offense. Let us hear what he has to say. More likely, this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We conclude that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... 
the guards will be angry. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's Needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar has returned to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods. They'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. If anything, time to see you, little Rick. I never knew Alan was brave. Wait. Wait. What is this? Little Rick. The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why do you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. What did the gods want, exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, you vile wretch. You didn't help Aki, and now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. The gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering? Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams. At times I see their form, when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Well? Know what it is? It's a heim. A post-conjunction creature, very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. 
They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. What's this other way? Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you've slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udalric. It won't be an easy fight. I know you're doubtful, but we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Udalric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udalric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udalric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udalric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you? Hmm. And what about the other method? The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's way. Hmm. Trying the trick can't hurt. Good decision. Haunted house. The Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. No reason to delay. Solid craftsmanship. Fitter must have been from the continent. Siri. No, it's impossible. Damn it. Looking to discourage me? Good. Means you're scared. Shattered. Udalric must have been scared of seeing the creature just behind him. Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply gotta trust me. Hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So, can we start? I'm ready. All right, I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven. Oh! 
Over there! She's running to the old house! Grab her! Take him. You must put him in the oven. Trust me. Take care not to hurt the child. Give me the feed. In the oven. Throw him in the oven! The Witcher committed no crime. You'll find neither despair nor guilt here. Only shock and relief. You've been tricked. You must go. It's over. Over? We tricked the Heim. It thought I'd killed your child, abandoned you to haunt me, feed on my conscience. But when it saw the babe was whole, unharmed, it had to go. You're free, Jarl. Free? The Heim's gone. So are the voices that tortured you. Let's get out of here. What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Geralt, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You'll be fine. Key is to not give in to self-pity. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. I'll go with him. He seems confused. Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on speaker, Rog? Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. Though I will admit you're not all bad. You trusted me, a complete stranger nearly. Few would have had the courage. I appreciate it if you didn't tell everybody in the Isles. They'll think I enjoy being dominated. <laughs> Farewell, Geralt. See you, Ceres. See you not from round here. What's brought ye to speak, Arog? 
Heard you've got a job for a witcher. Aye. My sister's near drilled a hole in me, got pestering me. I hung a notice, hoping she'd let up. Truth be told, didn't really expect anyone to take an interest. What's this about? My sister's betrothed. He's disappeared. Folks say he done a runner. Sis claims she saw a beast carry him off. Sensing you just don't believe your sister. They had their ups, they had their downs. Nils, thoroughbred skirt chaser. And Brit's just not easy to be around. But family's sacred. You willing to look into this? I'll see what I can do. I want to talk to your sister first off. Brit and Nils had their favorite spot. Cliffs north of the village. Ever since he went missing, she's been wandering about there. Thanks. I'll go see her. Need to talk to you. <laughs> Leave me be! Did you see Nils die? I... I... I saw a shadow. Great wings, like a cloud passing over the sky. Then I heard him scream. Something grabbed him, lifted him up, then flew off towards the caves on the shore. But he was alive, screaming my name. I'll look into it. Gotta explore those caves Brit mentioned. Ah, uh, stinks of carrion. Necrophages. Siren tracks. A very big siren. Drowners couldn't possibly lift Nils into the air. Shit! Strange scale color. Not your everyday siren. Nils. Gotta be. Some monster dropped him from high up. Brit wasn't lying. Master Witcher? Found an old echidna in a cave on the shore. Tough beast, but I killed it. So Brit spoke true? A beast took Nils? And killed him. Body's in the cave. I'll have to fetch it. Witcher, would ye mind telling Brit what happened to her betrothed? Fine. I'll talk to her. It's the least she deserves. Feel like a damn fool now, not believing me own sis. Take this. Hard work deserves payment. Farewell. Need to talk to you. <laughs> Leave me be. Your betrothed is dead. An echidna captured and killed him. Nels. This won't bring him back, I know. But I avenged him. Killed the beast. Thank you. Knew all along he was true to me. And so I'll vow to be true to him for the rest of my days. Take this gold. Tint much, but I want you to take it. Thank you, but I won't accept any coin from you. Why do you offend me so? Don't take it the wrong way. There are things even a witcher shouldn't take coin for. What is it? I got a job for you. There's no point standing here in the rain. All right, let's go to mine. We'll talk there. So what's the matter? You see that knoll beyond the village? Weren't a thing there for centuries. Till one day we awoke, bam! There were a tower atop it. 
and all of a sudden lightning started pounding down, as if the Nargle Fair itself was sailing in. Hasn't stopped to this day. Something's got to be done about the storm. With waves like that, we can't fish nor sail out to raid. You tried getting inside the tower? Have we tried? Very same morning the tower appeared. We went right off. Whole village or near boats. Folk wanted to welcome its owner if he came in peace. Drive him off if he came with ill intent. We knocked and banged, but no one answered. So we opened the door. And that's when our knees turned to jelly. Why? Because beyond of that door was something like a sheet of water, but standing upright. Never seen such a thing in my life. Druid said it were magic. Gathered five brave lads and they all marched in. No sign of them since. Fine. I'll look into the tower. Once you're in, cast your eye around for the folk from our village. Our druid and five good lads. Oh, I'd be a bitter shame to lose them. You have my word. Hemdel, guide you. Someone's come to free me. And a famous witcher at that. Thank the gods. I'm damned lucky you happen to be in Kovia. Was it King Tancred who sent you, or the Society of Magic? Neither, and we're not in Kovir. We're in Skellige. Local folk hired me. See, your towers brought a massive storm to their island. We're in... in Skellige. So we've teleported. Oh, this is much worse than I thought. Not sure I follow. Oh, the tower is outfitted with a, a defensive regulatory magic on. What? A defensive system. Magic. Ensuring only the tower's owner will use it. When it detects an intruder, it locks down all the rooms, denies access. And since neither of us is the tower's owner, the golem attacked me, and you're stuck behind bars. How do we evade its other charming features? We must deactivate the defensive regulatory magic on. The tower's prior owner wrote a treatise about removing such defenses. Gottfried's omni-opening grimoire. There must be a copy in the tower. Find it, please. With it in hand, I can try to circumvent the security measures, send you home and take the tower back to Kavir. You clearly know who I am. I don't even know your name. Sego Bunce. Mage and sorcerer in residence at the court of Pompanis. This tower was to be my new home. Bought it at an auction, you see. A tower at an auction? It belonged to Gottfried Stamfeld, a mage of some renown. When he passed on, his heirs auctioned the edifice off. They were all wary, repulsed. None dared see what Uncle Godfrey kept in his coloured jars. If it was their contents that had stripped him of his sense of smell and taken his left eye, 
that put the tower on the block, along with all it contained. The price was unbeatable. I couldn't resist. Seen my share of wonders, but a tower that teleports itself? That's something new. This defensive regulatory magic on. I tried to access it. Must have heard. Initiated some evacuation sequence. That opened the portal and jettisoned us through to Skellige. This, in turn, naturally generated electromagnetic disturbances. Hence the storm. Storm I promised to dispel. Then you must find Gottfried's omni-opening grimoire. Some folk from the village came in here, right? Their remains lie beside the golem. They came in a few days past. I was surprised to see their garb. But it just never entered my mind we might be in Skellige. There were just a few, led by a druid. The tower warned them. They failed to heed. Folk on On Skellig usually laugh in the face of warnings. If the tower had asked nicely, then offered them a horn of mead, they might have left then. Right. Time to get out of here and send this tower home. Where do I look for Gottfried's treaties? Any ideas? Hmm. The library might be a logical place to start. The key should be in the laboratory. Where's that? As you enter the room opposite, you'll see the laboratory to your left. The library straight ahead. But remember, you're an intruder. The tower is certain to want to stop you. Make things difficult at the least. We'll see who breaks first. Try to smash that barrier. Was by you, if it is at the giant. Intruder in tower. Aqueous countermeasures in effect. suffocated. Horrible way to die. Gottfried's omni-opening grimoire. This is it. Blind <laughs> Golemancy. Damn, time it worked to gas me. Find the tome. This it? It is indeed. Now, back away a bit. I must deactivate the barrier. Oh, you? Because it's at the 
isolation chamber open, disturbing indications of freedom. There, at last. Not easy. It's the hardest part is yet to come. We must reach the heart of the tower and cast a deactivating spell. The tower will surely do everything in its power to stop us. Lead the way. Try to power down the security measures. The defensive regulatory magic will react. Be on your guard. Was by you. Intruder detected. Encroachment detected. Gottfried's treaties proved highly useful. It's over. Had you not arrived, I'd still be in that cage, surely. It's a trifle, but take it, please. Proof of me gratitude. Thanks. Though I'd be more than satisfied if you calmed that storm, then took this tower somewhere else. Consider it done. And should you ever visit Kavir, do stop by Pompvanis. Aburagi! Wait, what are you doing? Uh, not this way, the door! You're alive, and in one piece. One soaking wet piece. Will you teach me to fly? Another time, maybe. Never seen such marvels in me life. Boom, flash, tower disappeared, and you was fallen from the sky. And the storm, gone in an instant. How oh, didn't I tell you? It's one of which we needed. Hey, can't do better than an expert, and expert work deserves a fitting reward. Thanks, but you need that coin a lot more than I do. Not enough that he's handy. He's noble, too. Ringa! What? Found a mage in the tower. He was just as eager to take it away from here. Rewarded me generously for my help. If that's so, we've naught left but to say our thanks. I will, if you ever come through here again, stop him. He'll be welcomed with open arms. Thanks. Farewell. Wait, Witcher. Did you happen to see me brother in there? Horn's his name. He went in with the druid and a few other lads. I found your friends. All dead, unfortunately. Sorry. Told him not to go. But he wanted glory. Ah. Let's go home, Njal. No point standing here. Farewell, Witcher. Thanks again for helping. Greetings. You know me? Aye, I've heard of you. Bolin's been mean mate since we were tykes, and you done saved his life. Heard you, uh, hold fights here. Ye heard right. Try your luck if you like. I'm ready. 
fight mercilessly, but do it with honor. Four of them, whitey stinky. Ah. Now I'm standing on Pathetic. Geralt the Traveler wins it! Freya, damn it. Ye should face Valgard. A worthy opponent. I want to fight. Brad, tell me when you're ready. Ready to fight right now. Done well so far. Hope your luck continues against Olaf. Like to have some words with the Outlander first? It's about my Erica. See her? I... I got a win today. She's watching. I don't stand a chance against you. I know it well. But I was thinking... Maybe you'd let me win. Listen, if I lose on purpose, we'll both regret it. Believe me. But it's Erica we're talking about. You don't understand a thing. Enough of this chatter. Fight! You've insulted an <laughs> islander, freak. Keep together! Mistake. The Outlanders won. Erica, wait. Let her go. The Outlander's proven himself worthy of facing Olaf. Your opponent, Skellig's champion, awaits on on Skellig. The tone of the path. I never expected that. You weren't honorable, to the point of madness. You not want to live in shame. I'm afraid he'll kill himself. Couldn't help overhearing your conversation. Trial of the path. What is it? An age-old on Skellig tradition. Young men must complete the path. Only then do they turn true warriors. So what's this path like? Old Gunner can tell you all you want to know about the path of warriors. He's the one leads the ritual. Lives at the foot of Mount Ardeclove. You've come to fight Olaf. He's long awaited a worthy opponent. I want to face Olaf. This fighting's a Skellig a tradition. And here on Anne Skellig, that tradition's damn near hallowed. What makes your tradition special? Warrior by the name of Duns Ursus once lived on Anne Skellig. Fought monsters with his bare hands. Tourneys held in his honor. I'll fight as though my life depended on it. What do they call ye? Geralt of Rivia. Geralt of Rivia. Enter the arena. Emerge victorious, and you'll have the honor to face the champion of champions. Well, well, well. Fighting is our sacred tradition. The blood spilt in this arena bears witness to the clan's strength. The victor today will be champion. Yet any who is bold enough to fight is already a hero. Shit. Defeated Olaf. It was a fair fight. Anyone 
else out there I could fight. You've defeated everyone there was to defeat in Skellige. Makes you champion of the Isles. Take pride, friend. I've had my eye on you. Tremendous potential. Would you consider dropping these amateur hayseed thumps? Fighting professionally, perhaps? I can sure as hell try. Excellent. There's an arena on the Isle of Speakerog. That is where the current champion of champions fights. I shall warn them you're on your way to issue a challenge. Farewell. I don't know you. You don't know me. So what's your problem? These isles were ours alone once. No foreigner dared set foot here. And if they did, they'd not return home. The good days, those. Definitely not for those unlucky enough to land here. You gunner? Who's asking? And why? I want to travel the path of warriors. No outlanders ever dared. But if you've had your fill of life, go on, try. What do I do? Paths got two offshoots. One leads into mountain peaks, the other into the bowels of the earth. Traverse both, and you'll have proved your valor. Can you tell me more about the underground path? It's a cave of some sort? Aye, but the corridors leading to it are flooded. No Continentals ever managed to swim them. Takes training since youth, a lot of diving after pearls. We'll see about that. What else? At the cavern's end, a surprise awaits. Take what you find there, bring it to me. A surprise? What kind? You'll see. So long as you get to the end. So long as the harpies don't get you. Tell me about the mountain path. It leads along the crest of Mount Ardic Clove. You'll find a crimson shawl at the peak. Bring that back as proof you've reached the pod's end. Doesn't sound like much of a challenge. Clear you've not spent much time in our mountains. Well, I'm not scared to try. Not just foreign, but dumb too. Well, no cure in that. Well, run to the top of Mount Articlove. Grab the Crimson Shawl, then reach the cave. At its end, you'll find something I'm not about to describe. On you go then, show the world what you're worth. The white-haired one goes to his death. Nay, no foreigner can traverse it. Ah! Place of power should draw from it. news path of yours wasn't easy but i managed to get to the end here's proof first outlander to complete the trial a feat worthy of respect i'll make sure news of your deeds spreads across the five isles they smear your ass or cast leaden balls and chew them what good would let every man defeats hooray so what do we do go to the truths Wanderer? Druids aren't any good with wraiths. Oh, suppose you're better. Shut your gob. He's better than any. That's a witcher there. Listen, it's our arena. We've got a wraith that haunts it. Damned if we know how to drive it off. Do you think you could manage? This wraith. I can probably manage it. Need the details. What do you want to know? What kind of an arena is this? It's an arena, like any other. The custom was for the best warriors to clash here. Speakerog boats were famous all across Skellige. Then one day a wraith showed up. How did you know? Told you. He's a witcher. A cunning man. He knows these things. 
Know anything about this specter? When did it first appear? The granddad told me. His granddad said the rate was called Ulla the Unlucky. Lost every bout he entered, yet always recovered from his wounds. Ulla weren't even able to die like a man. Till one day, Jarl Thormar called a tournament in the arena. In those days, they drew lots to choose their foes, and the Jarl drew Ulla the Unlucky. Jarl was cocksure he'd win, so he mocked Ulla. Ridiculed him till all in the stands were crying with laughter. <laughs> Finally, he raised his arms in triumph, and that's when Ula, who couldn't take it no more, stuck a dagger in his back. As he died, Thoma cursed Ula. May ye lose again and again for centuries on end. That's what he said. Ever since, Ula's haunted the arena, looking for a fight and getting a few. You mean there have been those who've tried to defeat him? You kidding? Everyone's beating him. Poor bugger keeps coming back, though. Can't organize no normal fights precisely because of that. All right. Could try my hand at driving away this specter. Not for free, though. Get it done, and we'll pay you the champion's purse. And a premium from our earnings to come. Once the fighting begins, after the curse is lifted. Oh. Sure you're not getting carried away there? Nah, little I, but fuck it. Witcher gets rid of the rate. He'll deserve a premium from the earnings, he will. So be it. One time only, though. Sounds reasonable. Wait for me here. Shouldn't be too long. Come to face the ghost of the arena. Don't be shy. I'll defeat Ulla the Unlucky. Just spare me your jabber, your cries of die, wraith of night shall defeat you, specter of the arena. I've heard them all a thousand times. Dreadful sick of them. You're no typical wraith. Why not? Because I don't shriek threats and warn you of your death? Well, that's simple enough. Plain bored of that. Besides, I know how to be. You'll spit out some insults, pierce me with your sword, and I'll then disappear, only to be back here again in a few days. And it'll be so with those who come after you. Such is my fate. I'm to tarry here till the world's end, losing every fate along the way. But you've not come to chat. Draw it, swing it, get to work, and defeat the ghost of the arena. Draw your weapon. Draw in, draw in. We'll make it quick. And not too much drama if you don't mind. I defeated you. Seems so. Congratulations. But... What have I was to lose till the end of time. What's that? I hear... I hear... Laughter and joyous cries. The clanking of chalices and a, and a voice summoning me to the Feast of Heroes. You, you let me win. You freed me. Thank you. The gods be with you. Farewell, ghost. Greetings. Ghost shouldn't pester you anymore. Drinking meat with his ancestors by now. Ah, uh, knew you'd manage it. Well, Gunnar, we're winning. Here. You bet on it? Should have seen it. I said you'd pull it off. Gunnar said there weren't a chance. That's why he's got that sheep's arse frown now. See that frown often, when it's time for me to get paid. 
You needn't fret. We're honourable folk here. This is for you. And remember, you get a cut of the earnings once we get the arena up and running again. I'll remember that. So long. Hey there. Oh, the mutant, eh? Don't make a face. It's good you're one. Ordinary bloke never stand a chance against the champion of champions. You have come to challenge him, haven't you? Anything I should know about my opponent? Had to fight a bear earlier. Bit surprised. Go with him. He'll lead you where you need to go. Behold, the champion of champions. A rock troll. A very well-developed rock troll. This supposed to be a fist fight? Aye, fists. Uh, of course, we provide a dignified funeral, observing the rituals of the Challenger's Creed. I want to fight the champion of champions. What do they call ye? Geralt of Rivia. I'm ready to fight. Geralt of Rivia, time to begin. Geralt of Rivia, you've defeated the champion of champions in fair combat. Earned the right to bear the title yourself. This very eve, I'll send word to the four corners of the world. The title is yours, as is the champion's prize. <laughs> 